So you know when you have like a great video idea and you're like filming it and it just goes perfectly exactly how you planned it, everything falls into place and it just all works out? Yeah, that's not what happened today. Not only did things not go smoothly, but um, the fire department may or may not have been called to the elbow house during the filming of this video. So please guys, before we get into the video, scroll down and smash that thumbs up button. If we could get over 13 likes on this video, that would be absolutely amazing and it would make all the struggles that I went through filming this worth it. Thank you. Now let's get to the video. Oh my god, yo check that out. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your scientist and today I am back and I am ready for another science experiment. Today we're going to be playing with fire a little bit and we are going to be doing the fire snake experiment. But before we get into the major experiment, I want to get you guys in the mood. So we're just going to start off with some smaller fire related experiments. By the way guys, if you saw the last time I played with fire, um, it, it got a little out of hand. So today, don't worry, we're prepared. We got a fire extinguisher. Okay guys, so the first experiment we're gonna do today is we're gonna make fire come out of nowhere. Just appear, okay? So I've got this here. This is just a random piece of plastic, right? Doesn't do anything, but I've rigged it so that I can make fire come out of nowhere. So basically, all I'm gonna do is press this button, press this button. Oh, it's right next to the hole. You see that, guys? Fire out of nowhere. Where'd it come from? Nobody knows. It's a secret. It's science. It's science. Bro, you buy those at the dollar store. That's just the lighter. You just press... <laughs> what? what the hell? Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Yo. Okay. You don't think that's a good fire experiment? Alright. I got, I got a banger for you. You guys ready for the next one? We are going to turn fire and paper into a taquito. How about that? Whoa. How's that sound? That sounds That's, dope, yeah. Yeah, you ready for it? Hell yeah. All right guys, so we got some just some recycled paper here because we care about the environment, don't waste paper. So we're gonna put that in this bowl right here. We've got a little bit of lighter fluid. Be careful if you're using this. So we're gonna just sprinkle a little bit of this onto the paper, just a little bit. Get real close there, Jad. Don't worry, I won't burn you. No! Whoa! There you have it guys, you can see the, the paper is still there, but there's a taquito in there now. So if you guys are ever hungry, you need a snack really quickly, just put some fire, some gasoline, make sure that it is like one of these, uh, like aluminum, uh, is, that, is this aluminum? <laughs> one of these bowls, get yourself a nice taquito. Mmm, delicious. How was that one? That was better, I guess, better, but I think you could do better than that. I made a taquito appear out of fire and paper. What, you better than that? Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. You want better than that? All right, let's get in to the fire snake experiment. In order to do this, you're gonna need a couple of key ingredients. First off, you're gonna need a bunch of sand. Next, you're gonna need some icing sugar and baking soda. Then you're gonna follow that up with some lighter fluid and of course a lighter. Then you're gonna need something to put it all in. So any type of heat resistant bowl or something along those lines will do just fine. And lastly, if you would like, I would definitely recommend using some aluminum foil to put underneath everything just as a buffer between what you're doing with the fire and the table or whatever else it is you're on. All right guys, next up, let's go through the steps so that you can do this at home. First, you're gonna need the baking soda and the icing sugar or powdered sugar, and you're gonna mix these two in order to form your base of the reaction. Now, what you're gonna need to do is take one scoop of baking soda for every four scoops of powdered sugar. So once you've scooped out the appropriate amount of each substance, you're gonna put these into a cup and shake it up, mix it all together. Once you're done mixing that together, chances are you're gonna have a little bit of a mess. So uh, just like grab some paper towel and, uh, Try and move it out of the way for now. Once you're done mixing the baking soda and powdered sugar, you're gonna take your sand and put that into your heat resistant bowl. I suppose I could have just put it into the heat resistant bowl to begin with, but um, yeah. Once you've got the sand in the bowl, you're gonna make a little bit of a divot in the middle of the sand. So on either side, it should look kind of like a mound and then in the center, a bit of a hole and that is where you're gonna put your mixture of baking soda and powdered sugar. Now, before you put the mixture into the hole that you created, you're gonna wanna take your lighter fluid and put that all over your sand, including inside the mound. Once that's done, take your baking soda and powdered sugar mixture, 
put that into the little hole that you made on top of the mound. Once that's in there, you might wanna add a little bit more lighter fluid around on the sand just to make sure that it is completely covered and then you are ready to begin. Okay guys, the moment of truth. I'm actually really, really nervous right now. Hopefully this works and it doesn't set the entire place on fire. All right, let's go. Jad, I'm sorry if I kill us. I just want you to know I appreciate you uh, being here. Bro, 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 is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Okay, something tells me I was supposed to put uh, Zippo fluid in the sugar baking soda concoction, and that just wasn't in, in the tutorial I watched, so let's try that now. Okay, so attempt, attempt number two, at least we didn't waste any of our baking soda sugar concoction. I'm gonna put some more around the edges here, and then we're gonna put some on top as well. All right, attempt number two, hopefully we have a little bit more luck this time. Ready? That was a big flame. That's a big flame. Oh, it's working, it's working. We should probably open the window. <laughs> Come on, I see the little balls coming. Turn into a snake, turn into a snake. So as you guys can see, we've got our giant black fire snake right there. Get really close to it so it looks bigger. Is it? No? Yeah, okay. I'm cheesed! It like kind of worked. Oh, that's see, cool. You can see what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to come out like massive. Okay, so it didn't work quite how I was expecting. I think I maybe need to put more lighter fluid. I don't know exactly what went wrong, uh, but we're gonna do a second attempt. But first I want to just kind of see what this is. So I'm just gonna touch it. Whoa. It feels like black clouds or something. Whoa. The sugar underneath and the baking soda is like really hard, but it feels really like just kind of fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna try and do uh, attempt number three and hopefully it works the third time. I literally loaded this with Zippo lighter fluid. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what's going on. Okay, please, 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 please. please, 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 please. That is a really big flame. Okay guys, so attempt number two uh, was a little bit more successful, but not significantly more. We still aren't achieving what we are trying to get here. I want it to be like a giant snake that comes out of it. Right now we've got like a couple worms. This is what we got right here. It looks like a little black mountain. Still pretty cool, but not what we're going for. So if there's anything you guys learn from my channel, hopefully it's to never give up because I know that's something I preach all the time in my videos. I think I say it in every single video. So I gotta practice what I preach. I gotta keep going. I'm gonna try it one more time and hopefully we can get it to work. Okay guys, so we've tried this three times. It's kind of working, but something must be off. So I decided to look into it a little bit more and it says you're supposed to use powdered sugar, which is what I thought I was using, but I was not using powdered sugar. So fortunately, my boy Jad had some powdered sugar in the house. <laughs> Shout out to Jad for having powdered sugar in the house so that we can attempt to do this hopefully the right way. But my guess is this is what was going wrong the entire time. So hopefully this works. All right guys, this is the finale. This is where the magic or science, this is where the science happens. Let's go. Come on, please work. All right guys, update. It does not look like it's doing what it's supposed to. Again, we have like a little mountain. It still looks dope, but uh, I want a giant snake. Two hours later. Yo, Sean, how many attempts has it been? Oh, fucking no. <laughs> let's, shut it, let's just go, let's just fuck, fuck this. It's not gonna work, bro, it's not gonna work. Oh? It's not gonna work. Bro, it's forming much better this time. Bro, 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 it's boring much better this time, Sean. Come on. Okay, bro, no offense, that's dookie. Guys, what the hell is going on? Every other video I've seen of this is literally like, here, here, here. <laughs> Fucking black fire snake explodes out of it. 
What is this? Huh? What is this? What is this? Alright guys, we've been here for six days. It's attempt number 933. I'm trying something different. I saw somewhere you make like a little circle and maybe that will work. I don't fucking know. I don't have the answers. Please, please work. Alright guys, it, this was definitely our best attempt yet. It's still not where we need it to be though, so I think we're going to have to scrap it tonight because we're out of Zippo lighter fluid and give it another shot tomorrow. Uh, I... Oh, so you're not giving up? I'm not giving up, bro. I love that! Alright guys, we're like 300 attempts in. I decided to go down and do more research because it still wasn't working and I found a guy who actually did a science experiment on it where he used different amounts of ingredients and did a whole bunch of different tests and figured out what the optimal amount was. And I think what the problem was, we were using a little bit too much of the sugar and baking soda. So we put a little bit less in and so far it seems to be working pretty well. I may do it again. I'm probably gonna do it again, obviously to show you guys and use a little bit more than what we have here, but we're making progress. Check it out. So guys, as you can see, we got a pretty decent snake. It's not big enough as to what I want it to be, but I'd say it's our best so far. So we are gonna keep on chugging. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna try a little bit more this time and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it works. It finally worked. Oh my God. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. You can see piece number one right here. Look at this guys. Oh my God. Yo, check that out. It looks like a piece of volcanic rock or something. I don't even know, but it feels like uh, very fluffy, kind of crunchy, a little bit crunchy. Holy shit. Yo, look at that. So we still have the base here. It's not uh, growing out anymore. Looks pretty dope. Guys, I cannot begin to explain to you how happy I am that we finally got this to work. I have been trying everything I can think of to make it happen, literally everything. I spent hours doing research on top of the initial research just before I even did the video, trying to figure out how to make it work. And we finally got it. Literally no one was even here. I was just trying this by myself. I had to come inside from being outside. All right guys, that's it for the fire snake experiment. Honestly, I think I've tried over 25 times in the last two days to make this work and I finally got it. So if that's not a lesson in perseverance, I don't know what is fam. Guys, please smash that thumbs up button right now for It's Your Scientist persevering through all kinds of obstacles and finally making the experiment work. If you guys are trying to do this at home, my advice to you would be try and make more of a mound and really make sure you mix up the sugar and baking soda. I'm not entirely sure exactly why it wasn't working before versus why it worked so well that time, but those are the two things I changed at the end. So I don't know if it was one or the other or some type of combination of the two of them. If you guys want to try this at home, be sure to do it in a safe environment. Have somebody uh, looking over you. Make sure you have like sand or water or 
or a fire extinguisher nearby to put out the fire just in case it gets out of hand. But let me know how the experiment goes for you guys in the comment section below or tweet at me or anything like that. I'll leave all my social media links down below for you guys. So if you don't already, be sure to follow me on there. And yeah, let me know how the experiment goes for you guys. If you guys want to see more Itsy Scientist or if there's any specific experiments you want to see next, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for persevering through this entire video with me. If you made it to the end, you are the real MVP fam. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles! Let's see what happens. This is taking a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, it's happening now. It's happening now. Look at that. It looks like puff balls. Wait, what's a puff ball? <laughs> Do you know what puff balls are? Holy shit, bro, look at that. It's like a soap volcano in there. All right, we're gonna pop it out and see what we got.